welcome to BAFTA Kids, behind the scenes with Horrid Henry. <laughs> My name is Elizabeth Waterworth Santo and I play Horrid Henry. I've been playing Horrid Henry since 2006. The challenge is making sure that he, for Henry, is every inch Henry. So he's not just a little boy, he's not just a child, he is Henry. So every, every word you're saying has to be what Henry would do and say. You know, if Henry's in a bad mood, you've got to be in a bad mood as you're talking as Henry, otherwise it's not going to work. Don't be horrid, Henry! I'm Tamsin Heatley. I play Mum. My name is Wayne Forrester. I play Dad. So we're the long-suffering parents of, mm. of Henry. I also play Beefy Bert, who says, I don't know, all the time. Bert, what do you think I should say? I don't know. My favourite one, I think, is Great Aunt Greta. How do and I do most of the animals. Um, dogs and cats and um, hamsters. Hamsters. Henry. We all play various characters. It is nice that we're all together yeah. because sometimes when you voice something, you're alone in the studio, and the other people's voices are just played to you through the cans. And it's nice that we can work together like a repertory company because we get to know each other and we can play off each other. And quite often we change things while we're going along, with. Lucinda's permission. My name is Lucinda Whiteley and I'm the series producer and also the writer. I've been writing for Horrid Henry since the very beginning. We're now in our fourth series, so by the end of this series we'll have produced 208 episodes. I do have favourite characters, but that doesn't mean that I don't love them all. But I have to say, probably Moody Margaret is one of my favourite because I can hear her voice so clearly. And she is, she's a very strong woman. If you're making a music video, then I want to be in it. I demand to be in it. My name's Sue Elliott Nichols and I'm Moody Margaret. I'm Joanna Ruiz and I'm Sarah Susan, um, Andrew the cousin, Miss Lovely the school teacher and various little boys. Acting was absolutely all I ever wanted to do. I was a really pretentious child. <laughs> and, uh, and we used to spend hours in our bedrooms putting on silly voices and taping them, which is kind of what we're now doing as a job, which is fab. Interestingly, I always did small voices. My mum said I always did silly voices when I was little. If I had any tips, just be as silly and have as much fun as you possibly can and go as over the top, you know, as many voices as down there, little ones. Do impressions of your teachers. Yes. That's a good place to start. Henry, I've told you a thousand times, stop that, you horrid boy. My name is Aidan Cook. I supply the voices for several characters. Uh, regular characters are Miss Battleaxe, Rude Ralph, Brainy Brian, Soggy Sid. Perhaps you'd like to share your good mood with the rest of us, Henry. Traditionally, in a lot of animation, they use girls and, and women to do young boys' voices. So I said a little, um, a little MP3 of me doing what I thought Miss Battleaxe should sound like, and I think that was what swung it in my favour. I hereby announce that this year's Panto is cancelled. If you're a jobbing actor, which is what I always wanted to be, then versatility is is very important it's imagination and um, just try stuff hi everybody i'm perfect peter we're behind the scenes with horrid henry mum says i can be in your video does she now yes i'm emma tate and i play perfect peter and this odd board and um oh madam tutu the ballet teacher when i was a child i think i just liked to show off and I was always, you know, putting on silly voices and jumping around and driving my mother mad. I joined lots of youth theatres when I was younger and then I went to drama college and then started doing bits of telly and theatre and, and then voiceovers. Do what you enjoy, do, do what makes you interested and makes you laugh. And um, sometimes it, it's easier to latch onto a very particular voice as if it's very extreme. 
that's maybe a good place to start because it, it, it just gives you something to get hold of and see what makes your friends laugh, you know? It's the detail. If you, if you really sit down and work out what, what kind of voice am I trying to get to and you have to practice. There's hard work involved as well. You know, some people just don't enjoy that. Um, I just love the language and I love playing with it and being able to use it for little boys and little girls. Really? You forgot to switch the camera on.